Hello, today I'll be interviewing Toby regarding filmmaking. Hello Toby. Alright. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for coming in for an interview. Cool, yeah. So why did you choose to become a filmmaker? Why couldn't you become you know, there's many careers, why didn't you become a doctor or a teacher? Why did you become a filmmaker? I didn't plan to be a filmmaker. Okay. I woke up one morning after a lifetime of a kind of self-abuse with a rock and roll, I would say. Um, and I'd always aspired to be a comic strip artist. I wanted to draw Judge Dredd, Batman. I was heavily, I mean, I'm a giant kid, really. Um, and I woke up one morning, I was about 24, and just thought, what the hell have I done? I've done nothing. And um, so I went to the art college in Plymouth mm -hmm. with some work and signed up to a graphic design course because I'm heavily influenced by um, one a comic strip artist called Dave McKean who used different techniques, not just pen and ink. And um, got into... Yeah, got on the course, um, and I wasn't the best student in the sense of uh, attendance and punctuality. I mean, my my timekeeping, if I'm not doing a job, is atrocious, and it still is. But um, my work was always up to date, and uh, the head of department, Chris Dart, I walked in... And I was late one time. And all the other students had already had their letters of warning and their threats. And I'd been overlooked because I used to go out drinking with him. Um, so we were friends. And um, he was in the hallway. I got, got in. And he said, um, I need to have a chat with you. I walked into the office. And I've never, it was like hell on earth. It was <laughs> flames being thrown at me. Um, mm. And then he just said about, if I, I suppose, pull my socks up, I'll get you into the best film college I can. Um, and I wondered why film. And he was like, well, I've listened to you talk. Because I've always... I've, I mean, I've been obsessed with like, horror films since I was about six years old, so there has been this... I, I like reading about films, I like watching films. So there's been an obsession, but never thought I could take it to the next step. Okay. And to become a successful filmmaker, did you have, did you have to make any sacrifices? I wouldn't say successful yet, but... Uh, sacrifices... Yeah, having no money, like, um, I'd say having no money and relationships, because filmmaking is, I think, if you want to direct, I think it is actually quite a selfish route to go, because you, you have to be obsessed with the project if it's your own project. Mm -hmm. Um... There's no point doing it if you haven't got a passion, because it's the same as a painter. Okay, very nice. Um, did you face any hardship through your career? All the time. I mean, uh, at the minute, it, obviously I'm teaching at the minute, uh, but I'm trying to pull some projects together. Um, and with no money, that can be quite difficult but it means that I've got to pull in some favours because I have got access to things uh, that maybe a lot of people haven't mm -hmm. um, so I think I think yeah, everything is sacrificed and hardships are always there um, but I think if you want to turn around and produce something that looks professional, then you bite the bullet and just do it. So what kind of hardships have come with you? 
Uh, money's the biggest. Never having any money. So, um, as a producer, as, as a director, have you ever been frustrated during a shot? Would you say it's tough doing three things like editing, producing, and being a director? Would you say that's a hard? Would you say it's tough? Yeah, it is, but it gives you more control. And ultimately, ultimately, I mean, I would say that 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 puts you in the category of filmmaker because you have many skills. And I think that's actually really important. Like, um, and that does, you, I mean, there are filmmakers at the minute, like Robert Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. He directs, edits, produces. Like, um, and that does mean that he's got a control and he works outside of the Hollywood system and also the type of technology that we've got today also allows filmmakers to just do their own projects and also get it actually get it seen like which is the hardest thing um the hardest thing is to get your work seen in some kind of environment where other people can actually maybe critique it because that's what you want is um, you want people to give you a critical analysis of the work mm -hmm. otherwise all it is is your mates and you're in a pub and you show them your work and they go yeah that's great mate and that's not really you know that doesn't work like, so what would you say what would you say is the key success to becoming a successful filmmaker luck luck a lot of it is luck See, that's the one thing that they don't tell you at college, is you just happen to be in the right place at the right time, or you've got to empty your films into film awards. Mm -hmm. um, building up a reputation. Um, I mean, I'm still, in a lot of ways, I'm still building up that rep, and I'm trying to reinvent myself, mm -hmm. uh, to take a different pathway. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think it's a lot of luck and a lot of hard work. So, you know. I, so are you saying that if someone works hard but there's no luck, they won't get anywhere? No, I'm just saying that in order to move forward or in order to get anywhere within this industry, you've got to work really hard. Um, and also you're going to take a lot of knockbacks. Um, but all you need is that one person. Mm -hmm. to suddenly believe in you and it's like okay let's go ahead mm -hmm. let's try it because there's nothing wrong in trying something if it doesn't go right it doesn't go right do you think it's a challenge to achieve success as a filmmaker do you see it challenging it depends what you mean by success i mean for me success will be making a feature film Let or getting a documentary on tv that's that's success enough to yeah, me. Yeah, that is success to anyone. Yeah. I mean, as an editor, producer, director, they would want what they've created, what they've made, to be known and established yeah. and liked by audiences. So is it a challenge to get up to that success, you know, make a make a film and be able to, you know, catch people's attention? Do you think it's a challenge for you? It is, but I think that's more to do with the British film industry. And that's because we haven't really got a British film industry where we've got the distributors looking after British films so they go into cinemas. Mm -hmm. um, if I was in the States, the likelihood is I could have made it a while back. What tips would you give to someone who wants to become a filmmaker? What tips? I think... I think... Uh, just work hard, make films, like read, watch films, listen to commentaries, watch the makings of, you know, I mean, we live in a world where I can listen to a director talking about why they've done certain things on a film, um, because it all helps, you know, and knowledge is a real powerful weapon, 
when making a film because it, I mean when I've been doing things I'm able to turn around and you know I can say well it's been influenced by these three films bang 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 mm -hmm. and we can even look at scenes so people will kind of get an idea mm -hmm. about what I'm after mm 